Thank you very much, Susie. Well, these are the kind of Monday blues I don't mind. We've had plenty of winter sunshine today and not an awful lot of cloud at times. That said, we did have a rather large sheet drifting over us earlier. This is actually the back edge of it, departing South End on Sea this afternoon. A really impressive photograph. And out there at the moment, well, largely cloudless skies for many of us. And then as the night goes on, we're going to see more in the way of low cloud drifting through, some areas of mist and fog developing and with temperatures as low as zero to minus two quite widely and some spots falling even lower it's likely to be freezing fog in places and with light winds we're also going to have a frost in places too so tomorrow high pressure in charge keeping this weather front at bay but tomorrow quite a lot of cloud caught up in its circulation so a different kind of day largely cloudy skies it may break at times this cloud to allow a little bit of brightness and sunshine through and we may get some of those areas of fog that form over overnight staying with us through a lot of tomorrow where that happens temperatures will really struggle only up to about two or three celsius elsewhere we're looking at highs of around five to seven celsius so not feeling the warmest with mainly light westerly winds and then Wednesday, the high just shifts position slightly, but we start to get milder and moister air caught up in its circulation. And that's going to lead to something in the weather world that we call anticyclonic doom, which basically means an awful lot of this cloud and not a lot of sunshine. But because we're going to have milder air on Wednesday, temperatures will actually get up to around 8 to 10 degrees Celsius, so above average for the time of year. And on Wednesday at the moment, we're looking at mainly light northerly winds. And then as we head into the end of the week and the weekend, not a lot of change. The high pressure should keep us largely dry, Quite a lot of cloud around still. Thursday, perhaps the better chance of that cloud breaking at times to allow a little bit of brightness through. And then Sunday into Monday, perhaps something a bit more unsettled heading our way in the form of showers or a longer spell of rain. Becoming windier over the weekend too, but temperatures again by uh, the end of the weekend around 10 degrees Celsius. And overnight lows, well after a very cold one tonight and a pretty chilly one on Tuesday too, it becomes much milder, especially as we head towards next weekend, eight or nine Celsius. That's higher than what we should be seeing by day at this time of year.